you're watching and welcome to an update today uh, I went to um, I had to go out somewhere today so I had to so I thought to myself I'll, I'll buy some um, stuff from HV but then I got some through the post um, today of course I got these I got this through the post uh, I'm gonna open this up now show what, show what I've got then I'll show what I've got from HV Right, so, oh nice, yeah, very nice indeed, very nice, um, yeah actually that, quite nice. So this is what I've got, two things I've got actually, very nice. I was watching this thing on, um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I watched this thing on there on YouTube. The, the guy from the Punisher was on it. And he's wearing this, like, these caps, these Punisher caps. And I thought they were quite nice. Um, and that's what I've got. I've got two Punisher caps. I've got a black, a black one. Um, which is nice. And a, like a camo black one. A, like a camo one. Um, so yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, not bad at all. I was a little bit, yeah, I'm not sure what these are going to look like on there. That's all right, that's pretty good. So yeah, awesome. Punisher. I'm trying to get his, he's, yeah, 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 like a nice, one, like a white and black. They look pretty nice, but I couldn't see them ones, but yeah, Punisher caps, cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that design, they've got like a new design now, this thing looks bloody, I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, all I'm saying is Jesus Christ. <laughs> so punish, punish the caps from H and V. I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna pick some of these up. This was a bit of a actually I saw it like I think it was last week, the week after. I saw it right there with myself. Oh, oh my god, I, I cannot believe I've actually put this on Blu-ray. Uh, it's the Robo Cop T the series now of the nineties. Like just I think it was just after the original Robo Cop three. I'm not sure. Um. This set contains, okay, right, the future of law enforcement's part man, part machine, all cop. This set contains the feature length pilot plus the entire 21 episodes of the TV series. Uh, Remember, what takes place in the 21st century and follows the exploits of Alex Murphy, a dedicated cop who was brutally murdered and transformed into the law enforcement adaptive cyborg. It now patrols the main streets of old Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. Delta City as Robocop program to stop any all crimes. Any any and all crimes. The spirit of Murphy, however, remains deep inside the machine, haunted by memories of his past life. Murphy struggles to maintain his advantage while battling diabolical criminals in a nightmare future run by corporate greed. Okay, it's got special features. It's got um oh. It's got like feature length uh, toy commercial, scene, no, behind the scenes feature like toy commercials, cast profiles from center to small screen, uh, data, audio, the future of law enforcement, the history of Robocop, uh, fun facts and all that. Or, um, put your weapon down, the auto nine gun. Region 3, released by 22 episodes. It says, Oh, this by screen, um, screen bound, twenty two episode TV says. I just remember you remember, remember the first pilot episode. There's quite a rare attractive woman. I remember. Gosh, she's you know the uh, woman who goes into the machine. I thought she go. She I can't remember what happens there. She gets killed. I thought she, or, 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 or a spirit goes into the machine. I can't remember now. But um, it's been a while since I last watched it. But I know it wasn't like one of the best. But the show had a good budget to it. That was a thing. It had some decent budget and. Um, and the guy who plays Robocop was actually, it was, it's like more like hard, it's like the, they did like an animated search, it? it was kind of like that. Yeah, it didn't kill anyone. Um, it like shoots someone's gun out of the hand, I thought it would be, it's kind of strange, but yeah. But the show wasn't bad, it was like, it was action packed, it wasn't perfect, it wasn't as good as the film, the, uh, the films, but. Um, all right, yeah, so yeah, it's one of those, yeah, it's one of those shows that. It was towed out of the balance stuff, um, and it was on like in the afternoon or something, and I was sat there or something. But yeah, 
That's a cool image, by the way, of Robocop. Awesome. It's called Robocop the TV, the series, on Blu ray. It's even better, it's on Blu ray, too. And then I got this film, the class of 1984. I got the, I think the original one is 1999. No, the, the one that I watched was 1999, the class of 1999. Uh, this is the, this is the first one, though. I didn't realize it was like a, a one before that. Um, um, 101 films presents class of 1984, 92 of uh, uh, Vision of the Future, one of the similar court cut of the evening. Directed by, co-written by Mark L. Lester, Commando, oh, interesting. Based on the story of Tom Holland, by Tom Holland, Fright Night, and also co screenplay, class of 94 features a strong cast including Perry King, Slaughterhouse 5, Timothy Van Patten, The White Shadow, Lisa Languis, Deadly Eyes, Roddy McDonald, Battle of the Power of the Apes, oh, I didn't know he was in that. Stephen, he was in um, Fright Night and films like Stephen R. Graham, Fear of Evil, an early appearance of, oh, what is that, I can't read that. Michael G. Oh, Michael J. Fox is in this too. Oh, okay, that's interesting. In idealistic and native music, Mike Fly, an idealistic and a naive music teacher, Perry King, moves to the inner city with a pregnant wife to find out his new school is paid by drugs and violence. Determined to bring this semblance of order to his classroom, he soon crashes the school's dominant gang, steps up a chain of escaping events with potentially fatal consequences. So it's got like grand scenes action brand new extras, life in pain, an interview with writer Tom Holland, additional extras, comedy with uh, director Mark Lester Mark Lester, do not do what you love at career perspective key. History repeats its, itself interview with director Mark Lester and composer Lalo a Blood and Black Bolt interview with cast and crew. Released by 101 films. Yeah, so I think the first one was in the, the one that I watched was 1999. Uh, and that one it had robots as teachers. That was a really good film. That's fun. Super fun film. Region B. Um, 19 minutes. Yeah, let's do this one actually. I saw that. I saw the show for. Hang on, have I got this one? Then there's like a 1999 one that I've got. I, I, did, I think I did a review of I'm sure. I liked it. It's a fun movie. It's a fun, fun movie. Uh, so it's called 19, Class of 1984 and I bought some Star Trek films because I want to finish off the Star Trek films I've been actually watching the special features and stuff of the first Star Trek film it's fascinating to watch so this one I got, this one I've been looking to get this one uh, this includes the directors and theatre of course too so it's got two versions um, uh, Star Trek the Undiscovered, Star Trek 6 the Undiscovered Control 4K um, Got the original uh, cover too. Comes with the sleeve. You can sleeve. I can, as you can sleeve, as you see. Um, comes with a special feature. The six a Star Trek movie and last feature of group appearance of the original television series cast comes to, to 4K. Uh, boldly remastered, remastered from the original, and from after years of war, Federation Creole Empire finds themselves on the brink of a peace of a summit. Before before negotiations even begin, a Klingon ship is just nearly destroyed, and the apparent attack was maybe from the Enterprise. Now the crew are braced for what may be their deadliest encounter. Both the original theatre and the director's cut are included alongside an army of array of special features. It comes a special feature, director, commentary with director Nicholas Mayo and screenwriter Danny uh, We've got commentary with, um, you got commentary with some of the you know, people that made the film. Anyway, so Blu-ray exclusive, Tom Morgar, Alien Stuntman, To Be or Not To Be, Clowns and Shakespeare, Starfleet Academy Praxis. Plus over two hours of ex additional fe special features. Um... Actually, no, it's something I was watching the Blu-rays on the. I haven't, you know, I, you know, it's like they have this sort of special. These, uh, sp oh, so I'm, 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 I'm not making much sense now, but we had like um, the special blue. I've got these Blu-rays, and then this like 
this woman talking, she's like talking about certain things, you know, like, what was it, on the um, Starfleet Command, is it like a Starfleet Fleet, this woman's talking, but I couldn't tell the special features on the 4K, which is weird. Um, and it's not important, I mean, I've, I've got stuck with the blues, anyway, so, uh, it's called Star Trek. This one was really good, I like this one. Uh, good little send off to the original cast, I think it was nice. Um, so yeah, it's called Drex, um, it's called Star Trek Undiscovered Country, Star Trek 6, and it's really about power, man. And yeah, so yeah, really, this one's a good film, actually. And then I got um, Star Trek in Insurrection on 4K. It's not my favourite one, but I like this one, so it's fun. Um, doesn't really come in any spe you know, like special conducted one or another, but it's just kind of, yeah, I'd love to see how, I don't know if these films have got it. Uh, the ninth on screen adventure of the Star Trek mu uh, movie franchise comes to 4K, spawn remastered from the original film elements, when the crew of the Enterprise learn of the Federation plot against the uh, inhabitants of a unique planet, Captain Picard begins an open rebellion. Um, so it comes with a, a commentary, text commentary by, um, Special uh, Blu-ray special features, Westmore's Legacy, Arena Circus, The Castle in HD, Brent Spider, Data and the Beyond, Part 3, Star Trek Roundtable, Interaction, Starfleet Academy, Orange of the Baku and uh, Sony Conflict, Library Computer, I think that was a Library Computer, I'm sure, but I couldn't see it on the, um, I'm not sure I had it actually, I'm sure I did, um, is that, um, Plus over three hours of previously released content. I think so. I'm not sure now. Um, I like the Enterprise. Um, e, it's pretty badass shit. Um, but this one was really good actually. Um, it's not the best Star Trek. It's not my favourite, but I do, I do like it. It's got some cool visual effects. Good battle scenes. So yeah, released by Paramount. Um, and then uh, yeah. Star Trek Insurrection on 4K. And then finally I got uh, another Star Trek film. I thought to myself, this is the final next generation of Star Trek film. For now, of course, I heard a few, you know, something's going off. That Picard, not Picard, Patrick still wants to make another film, which I, I can see it happening right now, because after the success of the season three of Picard, because people say it's really good, um, I can see it happening, funny enough. Um, so it's got, anyway, I got Star Trek ne Nemesis on 4K. This one I actually like. Um, wasn't very really much loved by everyone, but I liked it. I thought it was action part, dark, you know, the villain was kind of creepy looking in it. And there's a bit of a twist with the villain is. Um, so then the 10th the big adventure of the Star Trek movie franchise comes to 4K with uh, Vision boldly remastered from the original elements after the Enterprise is diverted to the planet Rombus in the hope of a successful negotiated truce. The Federation soon discovers the Romulans are, Romulans are planning an attack on the Earth. Uh, text commentary with Mike, uh, blah, blah, blah. Re, uh, special Blu-ray special re reunion with the Rik with Rikers. With the Rikers. Uh, today's tech, tomorrow's data. Hall of, robot of Hall of Fame. Brent by Data and Beyond Part 4. Ra Trek Roundtable, Nemesis. Starfleet, Starfleet Command uh, Academy, um, Library Computer, and then plus over three hours of previously released content. I, don't, I mean, I'm going to give them credit. I mean, they do a lot of special features of these films. You know, this one I enjoyed actually. I thought it was really cool, especially the last bit with the Enterprise crashing. You know, those all, it's just great, you know. This one I enjoyed. It's not perfect, but you know, it's a fun mover. It's a fun ride. Cracking visual effects. And yeah. It's released by Power Man, of course, but this is a film I liked. I didn't. I when I first watched, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, the villains are actually quite creepy looking in it. Also, every time I think, when I first saw it, I think of myself Pinhead from Hellraiser. It just looks like a bit like when he, he's hiding in the shadows with that bleed. He looks like Pinhead. I was, I'm sitting there going, oh, sh oh shit, it's Pinhead. You know, <laughs> Pinhead in Star Trek. What the hell's going on? Um, yeah, it's got some creepy dark tones. I don't know, I find it a little bit dark and stuff. I don't know. It's just weird. So, yeah. Nemesis on 4K. Right, actually, me pay time. Let's go. So, so, we've got some, like, Punisher caps. Um, very cool. 
the furniture caps. It's not bad actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, awesome. Um, oh, so we've got Robo Pop on Blu ray, the TV series. I've got the films on Blu ray already, but these, this show I've not seen for a long time. Um, I love the music, they have this cool guy, doom, 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 when Robo Cop's going to kick some ass. Yeah, it's the kind of show that you're watching, you know, it's not too violent, you know. It's supposed to take place after the original films, but you kind of think, yeah. <laughs> Um, that class of 1984. Oh boy. So I've been out today. I'm like, uh, um, Star Trek 6, The Undiscovered Country. I read a started film. Um, Star Trek Insurrection. And uh, Star Trek Nemesis on 4K. Yeah. So we go. My update. And so I'm gonna go off on for a bit. Meant to look see me off as my reaction videos and stuff like that and stuff like that. Um so yeah, awesome. So I'm gonna go off for a bit. People are meant to watch Richard Bush Prime and Richard Bush Gaming. Actually, I've done some stuff on that video, but not a lot. Um sometimes it takes forever to upload stuff on it, it's just takes forever. Uh, but no idea why. So anyway, so, so people oh because the files are a little bit big, so anyway, so Anyway, so anyway, people, remember to subscribe to my channel, remember to hit that like button, have a nice day, have a nice week, take care of yourself, and enjoy my videos, and thank you for watching. If you need a comment, leave a comment, so, and thank you for watching.